Okay, welcome back. So this is a problem from Canada 2025. It is a straight up Dao Fan time. And um <laughs> I mean okay, we're definitely gonna use it Monday, right? So Q minus one. So Q minus one divides this thing. I'm going to was P plus 2, and then they are nice enough to tell us that they're both odd. I mean, it doesn't matter. So anyways, well, that means that this thing is a power of 2, because this thing is just completely relative. Like, this has no factors of P in it. And... Okay, so what this means is Q minus 1 has to be 2 to the something, and Q to the C minus 1 over Q minus 1 has to be equal to P to the B times 2 to the whatever. So already, um, A has to be, not A, for, for a prime minus 1 to be a power of 2, um, that doesn't happen that often, this has to be a power of 2 itself, so I mean, I'll just do that now, and in fact, <laughs> we, don't, we don't know very many primes of this form, but moving on. Um, we don't really care what this thing is. Okay. So, so okay, what, what primes are of this shape? The, the primes that we, that have this property are like, okay, that's not important. Um, oh, the other thing is this has to be zero mod p. So if I take mod p, I get like two to the p divides two to the c minus one as well. Um, okay. I think C has to be prime though, because... Basically because of Zygmundi. Like Zygmundi will tell us that if you have a, if C has a proper divisor other than one, then you, there, there should be at least three different primes and there aren't. So if I, I think if I just like use the Z camera, this implies C is prime. That implies P is one mod two to the C. Or, P is one mod C, yeah. So this problem won't have many examples of things that work because there's just not that many front up primes. So should I just actually use like plug in the front up primes now? Like, okay, let me let me actually think about the problem. So the primes that could happen are five. Wait, seventeen doesn't happen because it's not five minus seventeen minus two. 257 is okay that's that's stupid wait hang on aren't all these primes is there a mod 5 issue because if so that's just stupid but maybe there's a mod 5 issue oh there's a mod 5 issue all right so this equation <laughs> the, the only one i have to think about is this right like i have to have three and five here because if Wait, okay, something's weird. Did, did I mess up? Right, yeah, Q, Q minus 1 has to be a power of 2, right? Because it doesn't share factors with P, because there's one more than P. So, I mean, okay. I guess it has to be 5 and 3? In which case, I feel like now I can just run the problem over, right? So 2 to the a times 3 to the b equals 5 to the c minus 1 is the diaphragm I'm actually trying to solve. And then Zygmunti's theorem tells us that once c is at least 2, there's no new solutions. I think that's it. I think we're fine. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Is that it? 
I think that's it. Uh, let me make sure I didn't do anything stupid, but I don't think anything else can happen here. Yep, okay. Let me write this up, but this was a little underwhelming. Um. So the answer is only, um, what was it? Three, one, two, three. Is that triple? follows p plus one ah. q equals one plus Oh, actually, you know, we can we can be more symmetric, right? Like, if p plus one and q minus one uh, must be a power of two, um, yeah, it's just this is not. However, two to the in general, two to the n minus one can be prime only when n is prime, while two to the n plus one can be prime only when n is a power of two. So this force is n equals 2, i.e. p equals 3 and q equals 5. Hence Zygmunde's theorem. Zygmunde's theorem. Zygmunde's theorem. Now I'm sure there are no solutions for c greater than 2 and then c equals 1. Okay, the end. Easy. Um, yeah. I'm glad we can do easy problems today. That's apparently most of what we're able to do. <laughs> uh. Okay, does this have a thread for on the apps? Using Zig's a little abusive. We probably don't. We probably should just do the thing where we're like, look, C is even, and then factor it, but. I, I don't remember. I've done too many of these kind of things, so I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done. Mm -hmm. Alright, I might just call it a day here. Um, yeah. Okay. For those of you watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully it's you know, another short video. Okay, take care.